Welcome to Business Ninjas, brought to you by Write For Me, where you'll hear from business leaders who are out there growing their business and slaying it every day. Learn from the masters. Let's get started. Welcome to another episode of Business Ninjas. I'm here with Hassan Sagias at Surreal. Hey, Hassan, how you doing? Hey, Andy. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Yeah, it's great to have you here. I'm looking forward to hearing more about Surreal. Um, tell me a little bit about what you do. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, in a nutshell, we are a metaverse company built and designed for businesses uh, with a suite of uh, enterprise level features like content management systems, uh, an analy analytics engine, uh, user management. Uh, and basically what the platform does is offer a virtual experience to solve for some business uh, challenges like hiring, for example, uh, onboarding new uh, emp remote employees in the metaverse, uh, uh, sales, uh, providing a virtual sales, ex sales experience, uh, recruiting, uh, training, and education as well. So those are some of the things that uh, our platform offers. So tell me about the use case of that. That sounds so interesting. And there's so much about the metaverse that's out there right now. This is a really unique uh, entry point into it. Um, tell me what kind of problems your platform solves for companies and, um, and, and how you plan on uh, going to market. Yeah, absolutely. So the way we've built our platform um, is very modular, meaning that we can uh, attend to many business problems and our platform can uh, dynamically become uh, 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 a platform to solve uh, a myriad uh, issues. So for example, one of our clients uses our platform uh, to uh, engage employees, remote employees. Mm -hmm. So this customer has over 30,000 employees worldwide, and uh, they all meet in the metaverse to have meetings, portals, to uh, uh, communicate announcements uh, from the company. Uh, they use it to train employees on new products and services all through this virtual environment. Uh, we have another customer that uses our platform for sales. So they basically leverage the power of the metaverse to provide a very immersive virtual sales experience to their customers. Um, and that's just a, a few examples of the problems that we solve through our platform. So there's, I imagine there's a lot to the product development side of this because you're not just developing workflows um, and web pages, but you're developing the whole experience, the metaverse Correct. experience as well. Tell me a little bit about that. What is the experience? Yeah, of course. So um, let's say you are an employee at a company. So we do integrate with a uh, single sign-on SSO. So you will sign into the platform with the same credentials you use to sign into other platforms for, uh, within your company. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you're inside, uh, you're taken into a hub. Uh, this is not a, a 3D hub. This is just a 2D site where we show you where you can edit your avatar, where you can see announcements from the company. Uh, it's almost like an, a very uh, uh, experiential intranet mm -hmm. service. And uh, at some point within the hub, you can click on the metaverse experience and that will launch a 3D real-time environment where you can uh, interact with other employees or team members. Uh, you can meet there, you can... Uh, train yourself on things like uh, security protocols or uh, new product launches. And uh, you could actually uh, uh, pull up a product within the metaverse experience and see it in augmented reality or 3D. And uh, 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 there's also gamif a gamification layer in that experience where if you interact with content, you earn points and those points are uh, sent to a leaderboard so you see how you rank against all other uh, employees or team members within the organization. And then those points can uh, in turn be exchanged for uh, branded merchandise. 
So uh, uh, it, it all works as a beautiful ecosystem of integrated experiences um, uh, to deliver this uh, business first metaverse uh, uh, experience, basically. Fascinating. And so is the typical experience required, does it require the Oculus or um, what, what, tell me a little bit about that, like uh, from the user experience. What is yeah, that? that's, a, that's a great question. Um, I often forget that uh, most people, when they think of the metaverse, they think of a VR headset. Yeah. So the answer is no, we, uh, uh, we are not on VR headsets. Our entire platform is web-based which uh -huh. is, one of, uh, is actually one of our uh, selling points. Uh, you do not need a VR headset to experience uh, uh, Surreal. And uh, it's all web-based. You can access it from a mobile device, uh, a tablet, or desktop computer via any browser. Very cool. Yeah, I can see that makes it that much more accessible. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about the origin story of the company. How did you get started with this? It sounds like a really cool idea. I love ideas that... So you came up with this idea one day, and now here you are doing it. How did that happen? Yeah, well, um, not quite. Uh, this is an idea that has been brewing for over a decade. Uh, when we started the company almost a decade ago, uh, we were not thinking about the metaverse. Uh, it's always what I've always been passionate about. But 10 years ago, it was a little unrealistic to pursue that dream. Mm -hmm. So we did start the business as a UI, UX consultancy agency. Um, we did a lot of uh, experiential work uh, for really big brands for a while, for about five years. And uh, four years ago, we very slowly started to uh, transition from an agency business model to a technology business. Uh, we started building our platform internally slowly but surely to the point where uh, uh, we could actually start selling it and make it commercial, commercially available. And, uh, and from that point on, uh, you know, we we're hundred percent a technology business now and uh, uh, hopefully uh, we'll build one of the best uh, metaverse platforms out there. Very cool. And what is the revenue model for the company? So we're a SaaS business model. Uh, we do charge a licensing fee per user. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so if you're a business, it would be a licensing fee per employee. I see. And so let's say that I'm a, I'm a customer, I'm a new customer. What's the onboarding process like? What is that experience for me to now adopt this and uh, share it with my employees? Yeah. So uh, right now, because we're still a very small business, uh, uh, the process is very manual and we do work, uh, I would say 95% of our customers are enterprise level customers who require a lot of uh, service, uh, project management, uh, strategy meetings. So the onboarding process is a little bit, um, uh, uh, I don't want to say cumbersome, but it does take a little bit of time to onboard a client, to bring them in, understand sure. their needs and build specific customizations on top of our platform. However, eventually where we want to be is uh, in a place where any customer can go onto our website, sign up on their own, choose a plan that fits their needs and get going without uh, 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 any kind of interaction with uh, our team. Yeah, I love this kind of period of, of growth. It's such an interesting time because you learn so much when you start talking with customers and implementing new client relationships. And then you start building template to be able to fully scale that. So having that iterative kind of approach is really useful. Um, tell me a little bit about what's uh, what, what are some of the exciting things that you're in development on now that uh, that you're looking to release? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, in the next few months, we are hoping to release a uh, the ability to upload and manage content into the metaverse from our admin console. So basically uh, uh, you can start customizing your own metaverse experience without the need of a team of designers or engineers uh, to make it happen. Uh, so very slowly but surely we're becoming a complete self-serve uh, self type of platform. Very cool. Um, this is really interesting. And so when, when, uh, when you work with 
customers, who are the buyer personas at the at, at your prospects? Are they HR groups? Are they CEOs, C-level execs? Who who are the people pulling the trigger? Yeah, mostly C-level execs. Uh, and again, it depends on the needs of the business. So one of our uh, clients uh, that uses our platform for sales, obviously the person we're talking to is the VP of marketing and sales. Uh, uh, another company that we're working with is mostly HR. Uh, uh, but honestly, our platform touches so many aspects of the business too uh, uh, that we're in, in custom communication with a lot of people within our customers' uh, companies. Uh, but it really depends on the, the type of needs that they need. And I can see how this gives a company who's an early adopter of this kind of a, an experience for their employees a halo effect, right? Mm -hmm. We're forward thinking, we're adopting new technologies and capabilities. Do you help them with the messaging of that to their organization as well, or do you leave that up to them? Um, we've tried, but usually uh, uh, we leave that up to them. Uh, we help them, we guide them as much as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the end of the day, they, they know how to communicate their message to their own teams better than we do. So what we do is just provide a little guidance in the process. That's great. And what verticals do you service? Who are, you know, who are some of the uh, different types of organizations that you work with or that you're targeting? Um, that's a great question. Uh, if I'm honest with you, uh, uh, we haven't fully defined that yet. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we're still exploring uh uh, which industries industries uh, uh, need our product the most? Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen a lot of uh, movement in the uh, communications and entertainment side of things. Uh, uh, telecommunication, uh, uh, retail is another one. So mm -hmm. uh, those are some industries that we're working with at the moment. That's great. And I guess the last question here is: In a year from now, what what would something be that you'd want to be celebrating? Um, that's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say I would like to celebrate uh, 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 the uh, the onboarding of at least a thousand new customers, right? Yeah. Under a self serve type of uh, uh, business model. Yeah, that's great. That's a great goal. Yeah. Well, it's awesome, Hassan. I'm, I'm really excited about your growth here and love the platform, love the direction that you're going in. Um, the website is surreal, X-U-R-E-A-L.com. Thank you so much, Hassan. Appreciate it. Thank you, Andy, for having me. I appreciate it. My pleasure.